charge of the Trans-Pacific Partnership Free Trade Negotiations says he hopes to have talks with the U.S. side before the next TPP ministerial meeting. Economic Revitalization Minister Akira Ahmadi made the remark in an NHK program on Sunday. Ahmadi said he wants to have phone talks with the U.S. Trade Representative Michael Furman before the World Economic Forum in Davos later this month. The conclusion of the free trade agreement will be indefinitely postponed if the 12 nations fail to reach a deal at the next meeting. Japan and the U.S. have a shared understanding, so it's possible to find common ground. Ahmadi indicated that he hopes to draw up a roadmap for concluding the pact with the talks with his U.S. counterpart. So why did this deal fall through? Well, this was a terrific meeting. Uh, the ministers from 12 countries gathered and worked through uh, all the various outstanding issues from market access to rules and made very significant progress in, in doing so. Uh, they were able to identify la landing zones, as we call them, for the majority of the key outstanding issues and give instructions to the negotiators now to flesh out the details. So we made very good progress and we also made the concerted decision together that since TPP is about achieving a high standard, ambitious, comprehensive agreement, what was most important was to keep working towards that agreement. And that's exactly what we did. But Michael, you would have thought that with um, the momentum coming out of the Bali meeting, there would be more optimism in terms of striking a deal on the TPP before year end. Are you disappointed that you haven't been able to achieve that? No, 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 not at all. There was great momentum first coming out of the leaders meeting in Bali back in October and then uh, through the work that we've done through the TPP um, uh, ministerials uh, around the, uh, over the course of the year. And all the ministers came here to Singapore uh, very committed to building on that momentum and making progress toward resolving uh, job creation and promote growth and allow us to, to help our farmers and workers and ranchers uh, enjoy some of the fastest growing markets in the world. Michael, um, is it true according to these WikiLeaks from Monday that you've practically been bullying other representatives into some kind of intercontinental law enforcement system? <laughs> Well, first of all, I haven't seen, uh, I haven't seen the, 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 the leaks. Uh, all I can say is we have been working uh, very collegially among the 12 ministers. This is really a group effort, and people bring different strengths to the table and different experiences. Uh, different countries make different proposals, and we're working through them collectively. So uh, we are uh, certainly uh, helping to lead this process, and we're proud of our role in that process. But it's all 12 countries working together to achieve this outcome. And um, you've given us some very positive answers, but ultimately it seems that you will leave these negotiations without an agreement ultimately. Where does that then take the process? Well, as I said, here, here in Singapore, we've managed to help identify potential landing zones for the, a, a great majority of the outstanding issues and now our negotiators will take those instructions flesh out the details we'll go back each to capitals and back to our countries and consult with our stakeholders in our case with congress uh, and, uh, and and come prepared to to work through the remaining issues